you know, guys, as the world of software development is evolving rapidly, it's very important to be up to date uh, with what's happening uh, around this space. Uh, recently, I found that there's a lot of buzz around this concept called Metro Phantoms. So I got curious to understand uh, what this buzz is all about. Uh, so in this video, uh, I'm going to uh, share with you the concept of micro frontends. I'm going over it and uh, I'm going to explain what it is all about. So let's begin. But before explaining uh, what micro frontends are, uh, it's very important to understand what microservices are. We already know what microservices are, but still let's go over them Go, let's go, go over this concept one more time. Microservices is an architectural pattern. It's an approach uh, that involves breaking down a large monolith into smaller, loosely coupled services. Uh, each uh, service focuses on a specific business functionality and can be independently developed, deployed, and scaled. The beauty of microservices uh, lies in, 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 in the flexibility and scalability side. Since each service operates uh, independently, developers can uh, use different frameworks, uh, languages, programming languages, databases uh, for each component, mm, depending on their requirements. So moreover, the modular nature of microservices allows teams to work uh, on different services simultaneously without affecting the entire application. So that's the beauty of it. So this is about microservices we talked about. Now let's move on to what are micro frontends, right? So in a, in a, in a, in a micro frontend uh, architecture, the front end is split into smaller self-contained modules, each responsible for a specific part of the UI. These modules can be developed and maintained uh, separate teams making it easier to manage large and complex front-end code bases. So what are the key differences? One is about the scope. Uh, microservices primarily deal with the backend part of the application. Uh, uh, they focus on the backend and, uh, and business logic and uh, data processing, whereas micro front-ends uh, applies uh, the same principles of microservices to the front-end, dividing the UI into smaller and manageable parts, right? And next is about the flexibility and the independence. In microservices, each service can be deployed independently without affecting the entire application and other services, right? And uh, micro front ends take the, take the independence to the, micro front, uh, to the front end, allowing teams to work simultaneously on different UI models without, uh, without interfering with each, each other's work, each other models, right? So you might you might ask you might ask the question right like uh, we could have used the term microservices for both front end and back end so then why the why the term micro front ends right? as the name implies right you're right indeed uh, you are correct that the that the microservices con concept can be can be applied to both front end and back end uh, of an application however the the reason we have we have a distinct term like micro front ends is to emphasize uh, the application of microservices principles uh, sp specifically to the to the front end that is UI layer of a uh, software system. So the primary goal behind uh, using the using the term micro front ends is to address the challenges and complexities that arise in front end development. Uh, especially uh, when dealing with large and uh, complex uh, user interfaces. So recently, I um, I uh, wrote a simple tutorial on Dev.2. I would like to share with you guys. Uh, I have uh, specifically explained the differences between microservices and micro frontends, how they are different and. Uh, by scratch, I mean, like, what uh, I've explained what are microservices. I've taken a simple Node.js application and uh, I, I wrote a simple tutorial uh, explaining my, how microservices work in an application. And similarly, I have taken mm -hmm. a simple Node.js application and wrote what are micro contents and how they work in a real life uh, scenario. So we can go over these, uh, uh, this, this particular uh, practical uh, tutorial that I have written and uh, I'll share this link uh, in the in the comment section or in the description of this video, and uh, yeah, you can go and try and 
and understand how microservices and micro front ends work. Hope you guys like this video and if you guys like this, keep supporting and share with your colleagues. That's it for today. Thanks.